welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be setting up a cage for my pet mice. So I do not have my mice yet. Um, by the time you see this video, I will have already gotten my mice. I'm making a little getting my mice video, but so I'm setting up the cage before we get them. And I wanted to do a little video on how I'm setting up my cage. And so yeah, I thought you guys would enjoy that. I have watched a lot of videos about mice. I've done so much research. And so I'm really excited. I'm getting, I think, two mice. There could be three. This tank has more than enough space for three mice. It has over 600 square inches of floor space, which is perfect for them. It's a really big 40 gallon tank. So this is what we have. And this is from PetSmart, I think. And then we have a mesh top lid right here. It goes like this. Oh, well, it's, I think it's how to get, oh, I did it the wrong way. It goes like this which is really awesome because I can just like lift up this one spot. So this is for preventing my cats from going in and preventing the mice from coming out. So we have this. And then I have a whole bunch of things to put inside the tank and I just thought we'd do a little video of setting it up. So let's look at what I have. I haven't washed anything yet, but for the food, I heard that the Oxbow mouse and young rat food was really good. So I got that for like some pellets and then I got this complete nutrition like other stuff. I don't know. I thought I was going to give them both. I need to look into the diet a little bit more, but I've heard these are good. So we got those. We got two um, of these little wheels. Nugget has one like this. Hers is yellow. And I really like it because it's quiet. They are in my room and they are nocturnal, so I do hear them. But this is a lot quieter than another, a different kind of wheel. So we have two so they can each have their own because mice can get very territorial, but I am getting two girls. So that's good. We have two for them. I was going to get different colors, but they only had blue, which is perfectly fine because this is actually my favorite one. So we have that. I got two food bowls. I'm planning on putting one bowl of that and one bowl of this, but I might do a mixture of them. I don't know. We have this little wooden house right here, which is really cute. They can crawl on top of it and they can go inside it. There's doors on both sides. This one's just really cute. And I've also heard they really like these. So this is a little like wooden nest that they can hang out in. Really cute. Um, I have, oh, and these are glass bowls so they can't bite through them. This is a little barn that they can like walk up and go inside. It's like a little house. Nugget likes some like this. She doesn't have one that has a walkway, but since mice like to climb a lot, I thought they'd like this. And they have one like this at the pet store. They have a bigger version. Um, so I thought they'd like that. And we also got the little like cheese chew and it has no, the fluffy bedding inside and it's like a wooden cheese with a bunch of holes. So it's really cute. I'm really excited for that. Then I have a water bottle. I might get a second one. I know sometimes people say to get two water bottles. Some people say not to, so I'll have to see what they like. This is a glass one. It's the same one that Nugget has. I will have to have my dad um, build a thing. He built this little thing to hang Nuggets on the cage. Since you're supposed to hook it onto a wire cage, I have a tank, so he built this attachment that'll hang it. So for now, I think I'll have to hang it up with um, tape. I know a lot of people also say to use Velcro. I could get velcro i might actually do that instead i don't know but this is what we have it's a glass water bottle it'll work for now and then we have um this bridge that i'm going to hang on the top of the cage because i know that they like to climb so i thought this would be really cute and they could try and climb on this so we got that it's for a bird but i think they'll like it and then we got this little mushroom chew um these two little flower chews and then I got all these like fiesta puffs. I thought Nug could have some of these too. I've heard that a lot of people's animals like these. So I thought I'd give Nug one and also let the mice have one. And then I have some Timothy hay because I heard that they like to use this for nesting. And I have this paper bedding. I hope I have enough. I was not planning on getting such a big tank and then I did. So we might have to get more bedding, but we'll see where that gets me. So yeah, we're just gonna start setting everything up and I'll probably get them more toys and stuff as we like as i play with them and see what they like nugget has this little house right here that she absolutely loves and she nests underneath it and she sleeps under there ever since i got it for her she really likes it and i wanted to get them one of those but they didn't have it at the store i got nuggets from amazon actually because i didn't know they sold them in stores i did see it at one of the pet stores we've been to four pet stores today i did see it at one of them though so i think i might get it when we get the mice i don't know so we have that and yeah, so Nugget has some fun stuff in her cage. She's sleeping right now. But yeah, I also actually ordered some things on Amazon. I was gonna put them in Nugget's cage, but I think I might put them in the mice's cage because Nugget actually 
is happy with her cage. I change it around a lot, like I take different things out. That I just added. She had like different little beds in here. So I changed her cage up a little bit. So I think the new things will probably go to the mice, but they're not gonna be here for a little while. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna start by putting the bedding in. We're just gonna start dumping this in and I do break it up. I'm just gonna take the whole chunk and put it in. There we go. <laughs> You need to rip it all up. All right, I'm just trying to make it all like one level. I'm not someone who's a freak about like how many inches they have to burrow in. Nugget gets a lot because she likes to burrow. I'm gonna use my tape measure and we'll see. They have. Oh yeah, they have at least five inches to dig in. That is plenty for them. So this is perfect and it looks really cute so far. Actually, I'm gonna go wash all of the items like these and the food bowl. So I'm gonna go wash those so they're nice and clean and not covered in germs from everyone who's touching them at the pet store. Okay, so I just cleaned all the things. So in Nugget's cage, I keep like her um, wheel over here. I think I'm gonna put one wheel in each corner just so they each have like a little area with a wheel in it. I think that seems like a good idea. And then I'm just gonna like put in some of the accessories like this, put that right there. Maybe I'll put this one over here, kind of bury it. I'm gonna put this one like over here and this little cheese thing. I will definitely add more things. I feel like they definitely need some more hideouts and stuff. Nugget has some, but I don't want to cross contaminate because they'll smell Nugget and probably get territorial. So we don't want that. I'm gonna throw some of these toys in here though too. We have all these fun little chews. I'm definitely gonna have to get them more. Nugget has some that she hasn't used yet. I just can't remember where I put them, but if I do find them, I'm gonna give them to the mice. And now I wanna fill up the little food bowls. This one's actually still a little wet, but I'm gonna put them probably like here and maybe over here. So I'm gonna fill them up with the food. The first one, I'm gonna put some of the pellets in. These are really big, but I think they will like them. Okay, so this one I have some pellets. I think that's pretty good. Put that right here. I always kind of bury it in. Nugget's really little and she sits inside her food bowl when she eats. So I'm just gonna assume the same of them. And I'm just gonna put it into the ground so they can just get in it easily. And I'm gonna, Nugget always puts food inside, or like fluff inside of her food bowl. I hope they don't do the same thing. She covers it every single time. Nugget's crazy. And then in the other bowl, I'm gonna put the other food that I got them so they can have both. Okay, so this one has all these fun little like seeds and stuff. I don't know. So we're gonna put this one. I think we're gonna put it over here in the corner. Actually, I think let's move this over a little bit and just put them kind of next to each other. Get a lot of bedding in here. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think that looks pretty cozy. So like I said, I'll probably get them some more hides and stuff. I have some that are coming in the mail right now actually that I can put in here. So I'm really excited. I wanna get them a little house like Nugget has and so their cage will probably fill up. I just wanna also get to know them, see what they like so I know kind of what toys they want. I'll probably get them some more chews cause I know their teeth grow so they're gonna want more chews and stuff. And I'm also gonna put some of these in here. I think I'll just put one and break it in half and then I'll do the same for Nugget but I'll only give her half. I just feel like it's really big. Let's see. Can I break this? Okay, we'll put one blue one and we'll give Nugget the other half. And then we'll put one green one. Okay, there we go. So now they got some like chews and stuff hanging out and I'm sure Nugget will like to try this as well. So, awesome. And then, oh, I also have the hay. I don't know where I'm gonna put the hay. Maybe I should move this and put them over here. The hay, sounds like a good idea. I'll just put like a stack of hay over here just to see like what they want to do with it. I don't want to get hay everywhere. I don't know how much they're gonna want. So we're just gonna put like some over here. It smells like hay. <laughs> okay, let's put a little bit more. So they can make a little nest out of all that. 
I think that's a good amount for right now. They have a lot of hay. I can definitely add more if they want more. I Again, I don't know them yet, um, so I don't know what they're gonna want. This is looking really good, and the last thing I have besides the water bottle is this bridge. Now, it's obviously not gonna span across the whole thing. It could go this way. Um, I don't know how I want it. I don't even know how they're gonna get up to this, honestly. <laughs> so this might have been a bad idea to get that. I don't know. I know they like to climb, so I know that's a good thing to get it, but I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Okay, I don't know how well this is gonna stay. I have some like paper clips in the top of the cage. Oops, the cats are trying to hide. Um, and I have it hanging on that. So far, I think it'll be okay. We'll have to see how it goes when they actually get on it. But for now, this is their um, cage, and I think it looks really cool. I think they're gonna enjoy it a lot. And now, um, yeah, that's my mouse cage. Here's a little nugget popping in to say hi. I know this is a video for the mice, but she's awake. I just gave her some Cheerios, so Nugget's saying hello. <laughs> Another quick thing about Nugget, I gave her that little chew thing that I said that I would give her half of. And she's like, what? And it's right there. She dragged it into her castle. Last night, I was just hanging out on my bed and I looked over and I saw it moving and I was like, what's it doing? She had it in her mouth and she was dragging it into the castle. So she definitely likes it. Right, Nug? <laughs> she is so cute. And I told you guys, she puts the bedding inside her food bowl. She does that every single time. I always move it out and she puts it right back in. She's a silly goose. Huh, Nugget, you're so cute. I definitely need to do more videos with my small animals because I know you guys like them and I'd like to do them too. I think I might try and do some videos of me taming the mice, so that'll be really cute. Right, Nug? She's so cute, you guys. Aw. And I didn't officially do like a whole cage tour, so I kind of just wanted to do that really quick, especially since I added some new things in there. So we have a ton of bedding in here so they can burrow. They actually were making tunnels and stuff in here, so they definitely like that. We have some Timothy hay in the corner and this little nest house for them. It's really cute. We have one of the saucer spinners over there. The water bottle is finally in here. We have that little wooden thing. It's a bridge over top, but it's a little house underneath. There's that little cheesy chew that they can take the stuffing out of, which they did, and they can make little tunnels out of it. There's some chew toys around um, in there, and this little bridge, and then this is some food pellets, and this is other food. I don't know. Um, I got them those. There's a little house over there, and they can make tunnels underneath it, which is what Nugget loves, and they can also go in the top. Buttercup is going in the top. And there's a little tray right there on the red part, and that's where I put treats for Nugget, so I want to put them there for them so they get used to that. I have a toilet paper roll for them, and they actually were playing in that. And there's another, some more like treat chew toy things. There is this little red barn and it has a walkway on the top. They kind of buried it a little bit. And then there's this little bridge right here. So that is their whole cage. Oh, and there's another um, spinner over here, so they each have one. They both, um, actually Buttercup is the only one who's really ran on them. She's been on both of them. So she kind of claimed them both, but I'm sure that they will. I'm sure that Petunia will run on them eventually. I don't know where they are right now. I think they're sleeping because it is the next morning and I just wanted to see how they're adjusting. But I think that is going to be the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments. Let me know um, if you lived here, what would be your favorite part? And we'll see you guys later. Bye.